Fala pessoal, beleza? Fernando Rodrigo aqui na área novamente, dessa vez trazendo mais um capítulo de Black Sad, John Black Sad. Uh, a gente conversou com o mendigo lá e não tinha dado em nada, então a gente. Deixa eu só voltar pra onde que a gente tava. Tá. A gente vai até aquele restaurante lá. Vamos ver se a gente consegue encontrar alguma coisa. Cachorro sombrio não tá ali. Carregando, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15 por cento. Que carrega rápido. Tipo, é, recentemente saiu uma versão desse game que ele roda 60 fps. Legal. Essa aqui é uma versão mais antiga ainda. Just turned off the grill. Mm -hmm. You all got about 25 seconds to order your last burger before it goes cold, you bastards. <laughs> God, I'm nervous. Hey, if it isn't Miss, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I'm sorry too, because we ran out of sissy menus. <laughs> your dad and brothers ate them all. So, you got anything to say to Sam, little kitty? I want a cheeseburger for a friend. One cheeseburger for your boyfriend. Coming right up. <laughs> Come on, you bastards. Finish your meals and be gone. I'm closing in five. Cachorro bulldog nervoso, cara. Bicho é estressadão. É aquele, esse é aquele cara, aquele bulldog que... Acho que no capítulo 2, no capítulo 1 um, da, da nossa gameplay aqui, quase que atropela o nosso protagonista. John Black Sad. Ele é o patrão da Sonya. Não, da Sonya não, da, 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 da gastronete lá, esqueci o nome dela. Ah, a gente vai ter que levar esse chicanão. É, imagine que fosse isso. I was hoping to get something in return for that first hamburger. But now I just, I don't really know why I brought this. The cynics would say I did it all out of selfishness. Just to feel better about myself. Who cares? I just que a primeira vez que eu trouxe um hambúrguer pro cara aqui foi pra consegui informação, mas agora ele trouxe porque ele não sabe porquê, mas ele se sente melhor. Nada aqui, então vamos seguir. Vamos entrar aqui. Da última vez a gente vasculhou tudo aqui e não encontramos nada. Vamos ver se ele não, não consegue fazer ligação também. Estranho, tem ninguém pra ligar, deve ser por isso. Ah. Ok. Vamos ver se a gente consegue alguma coisa mais aqui. Vou chegar caminhando para sair de casa. Acabou de entrar esse infeliz para comer. Ah, nada aqui. Nada no armário de novo. Bobeio. Deixa eu ver se. Ah, tem coisas aqui para gente ver. Vamos ver. Vamos ver você. 
acontecer. Você dá alguma coisa? Não. Você. Você também não. Você também não. Também não. Ah, quando o Dan morreu, seu pescoço estava machucado. Estava pintado, é isso? Não sei. punched a paint can, but why? Okay. Wasn't he calm and composed? Ah, tá, ele deu um soco na lata de tinta. Ah, uh, ok. Ah, uh, né? Socou a lata de tinta, a lata de tinta tá aqui. Vamos ver se a gente consegue entender mais alguma coisa. Ah, ok. Lada de tudo que ele socou. Não tem como ligação. Ah, deixa. Então, é, deve ter socado a lata de tinta. A gente já foi. Também não. E deixa só um negócio. Opa! Será que é? Não. São três combinações. Você. Você. you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Ah, Dunn é, estrangulou o corpo e eu com o seu extensor de, de peito tox, né? Ok. Done just because he wanted to call off the fight? I always knew Bobby had issues. But I never thought he'd go that far. I to I said to say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I couldn't say. In my line of work, you really shouldn't jump to conclusions. But the chest expander, the box in his locker, the marks on my father's neck. 
It all leads to him. Tudo liga a ele. In any case, that doesn't change a thing. Okay. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. My father's still dead, and you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Nothing has changed. Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. So please hurry. Time's wasting. Sonia's indifference never ceased to amaze me. But most importantly, why was she so opposed to Yale? John Blacksad? I think I owe you an apology. Ok, quem é? O rei do crime? Who are you? Do I know you? I don't seem to remember your face. <laughs> well, uh, maybe you remember my boys. I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh, they didn't know we shared a common goal. Bobby Yale. I want to find him. And get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Blacksad. So please. Kindly accept my invitation. Why not share our findings? Come on. Okay. Ele disse que eles têm um objetivo em comum. Porque eles não entram gentilmente no carro? Ah, uh, e agora? Melhor dizer sim, né? Carta armada. Of course. You don't mind me riding in this fancy car with a wrinkled suit, do you? I think you look mighty dapper, Mr. Blacksad. Although, if those wrinkles were to rub off on me... <laughs> I always play it nice and safe. Loucura, rapaz. A situação tensa. Olha uma figurinha ali atrás do poste. Será que ela pode ter aceitado? Não sei não, hein? Cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So, I'm offering you my help to find him. Let's work together. What kind of help do you need? A simple exchange of information. You're a good detective. I... Let's just say I have my own ways of making people talk. I think I'll have to pass this time. Why? What? Do my own ways scare you? Please, give me up. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days, and you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? Simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. And most importantly, so yeah, I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? I can't really see it. It's illegal. It's illegal for starters. Illegal? Let me tell you what should be illegal. The way our government is ruling. We live in a so-called free country, a place where honest people can make a living, provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Uh, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me, uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, 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 it's not. Uh,
With all due respect, it's none of your business. Ooh, all right. Never mind that. In any case, that's not my point. The government betrays our nation's values by passing communist laws that forbid an honest man like me to make a living without hurting a soul. That is not sad. It's just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Do you get my point now? Okay, but that doesn't justify what you do for a living. Um, did you hear anything I just said? Anything. When the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that can turn America into a great nation. Civil disobedience. So, as the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. You might have a point. In a certain case, civil disobedience is both right and duty. Exactly. And when you hear just how I've transformed this business, you'll agree even more. I wasn't always a boss. Oh, sir. I started at the bottom when Lucky Blitzen ran the show. This was a winter terror, extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant thing. When I took over, I decided I'd make people want to do my bidding. Not out of fear, but out of gratitude. I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ha ha ha! Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective. That you were on our side. Maybe at first. But when they told me you were beat your socks off me, they knew very well who I was. Seriously? That goes against my rules. Who was it? It was just Colbert. That bastard. Don't you worry. I will have a serious talk with him. I cannot tolerate this behavior. Please, accept my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You see, a lot of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that, St. Christopher's Hospital practically lives on my donations. The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get to the school. The cops keep them alone because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. On the contrary. And, ah, it's like a Beleza, galera. O amigo aí querendo convencer a gente a fazer coisa errada. Ele disse que a situação, né? O jeito que ele faz, as coisas que ele faz não é ilegal. Só, e porque ele não machuca ninguém, né? Mesmo ele fazendo uma langagem, roubando, isso aqui, ele não machuca ninguém. E ele pediu a nossa eu ajuda. Eu te disse, eu estou do seu lado. Vá lá, procure o lugar. Eu vou esperar aqui. Quando você está feito, talvez você mude sua mente e compartilhe suas descobertas comigo. Ou não. É o seu call, Mr. Blacksad. Eu vou assegurar que você está suitably compensated. Colbert! Wilson! Ah. Uh, o coiote aí precisa do, desse Bob e eu pra uma luta que tá envolvendo muito dinheiro. Se ele não lutar, ele vai perder muita grana. E ele precisa encontrar o Bob e eu. Uh, Bob seems like a nice kid, but I barely know him. Hmm. Century French fables. There must be one boring old lady. Okay, continue. Tem algo aqui também. Mais uma. Okay. Ah, e um detalhe: o, Bob, o John Blackside pediu para os capangas dele ficar longe dele, né? Aí o cara lá falou que alguém ia falar com os, os manos aqui. Bom, 
judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. Can't say this is the ideal drink for an athlete. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, but it's good to know. A woman's fragrance. Almost angelical. Michelle, so, you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? Parece o. Parece não, eu acho que é uma referência ao stories, don't you, Bobby? Poderoso chefão, né? A letra e o e o e a foto bem parecido. Seems like Bobby inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. Nice chain. Bella Corrente. Avenarius. Copy one of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever, ever Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Uh. Unless someone emptied it recently. Tem um guarda-roupa tão grande, se tem pouca roupa, pode ser que alguém se esconda aqui. Acho que já foi, né? Aqui ele não passa, aqui ele não mora. Vou 
pra tá funcionar. Ok. Ah, acho que era as pegadas no teto da cabine. Ele fez em si aqui. Ok. She's been here recently, but why? What does Sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? When I left, I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left for Mary's. But before all that, I took a small parting gift for her. Trusted angels. Mr. Black's hat? What a surprise. Surprise. When they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. Why did you hide this formation? How did you open the door? How did you open the door to his apartment? I think it was already open. Everything is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. Blackstone. Don't be. I'm here to figure it out. What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Okay. I think it's time to set things straight. I think you and Bobby Yale conspired to kill Dunn. No! How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Really? Oh no. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? I'm not white, Mr. Black said. What? Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Segregated housing with far worse homes for colored people. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that. That garbage. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great grandparents were. I'm black too, and I don't hide it. Well, at least you're a man. In any case, what's that have to do with Bobby Yale? He's my nephew, Mr. Blackside. Joe and I first started taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. 
That was when he was almost 15. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. I'm sorry to like say I'm sorry I accused you so lightly. Don't worry, I understand. Out of the oven. The whole room smells like pie. Mary smells like. Actually, the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven. So I can't identify any other fragrances. About Sonia Dunn and the ring. Well, I told her about you and Joe Dunn. I had no choice. And what did she say? I don't think she took it too well. But she might come to understand. Maybe. But I'm not so sure you'll be able to keep my other secrets safe. Ah, eu sei o seu segredo, sei que o segredo está salvo comigo. Ah, uh, eu sure you don't know your whereabouts. Seu segredo. Your secret is safe with me. I'd like to believe you. Gostaria de acreditar em você. Ok, vou falar da torta, vai. That cherry pie smells so good. I'm starting to get hungry. Thanks. <laughs> I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. Let me go get a knife from the kitchen. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see, OJ, coffee? Uh, I'll take some coffee. Uh, thanks. Uh, Carlos Luis Martin. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures, so she's probably telling the truth. Okay, I need to straight out. I was going to I had some beautiful artwork you got there. Uh, 
encher ela. Now that there's almost no pie left, the scent has also disappeared. Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Mary, when are you going to stop lying? I know your nephew is here. I can smell him. What? No. I already told you I don't know where he is. I'd stead your good deal. Stop bringing around I need Jimmy's Stop bringing around and tell me. Where is he? You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. He's not here. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that. That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. So, that's why you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Could you step aside so I can check, please? Please go. Mary, for Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Leave I just want to help. I can't take my thing away. Please come down. You don't have to do this, Mary. You don't have to do this, Mary. I mean it. I don't want to hurt you. Leave her alone! I... Bobby! <laughs> Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. One, stay calm. Two. Two, one chest compression per second. One Mississippi. <laughs> two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five, Mississippi. Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby. Thank you. Thank you. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I had investigated a suicide case. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. 
and I had saved a life. Ok, prendemos o suspeito principal. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. Promise me, Promise you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I want a gun! What the hell? Bang, bang, bang! A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. I hate detectives. Bang, bang, bang! That you, Smirnov? You seem agitated. Nightmare? <sighs> yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, We'll take it from here. Uh, okay. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. I can watch Yale on my own. No doubt. I just saw exactly how vigilant you always are. As for what happened yesterday, you promised me you wouldn't intervene. If I hadn't intervened, Bobby Yale could be dead. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided a heart attack. Anyway, what's done, is done. When, when exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. To be honest, I'm not so sure Yale killed anyone. How about the motive? Any ideas? I've got several theories, but that's about it. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. Would you let me ask him some questions when he wakes up? I know you will, with or without my permission, so... I'd rather not feel betrayed. In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. She's been through a lot in the past days. Be nice to her. Of course. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. I will. Thanks for the advice. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. For your sake. I hope you're wrong. You're in charge now, officer. Oh, okay. 
I'll send you relief in six hours. Understood? Doctor. <laughs> My God. You are. Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Well, I always land on my feet. Dr. Palmer. We, as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust, that it's natural and well-founded. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh yeah. Go check on him before he falls asleep again. Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. Will this have long-term effects on his health? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack, after all. Okay, foi confirmado então que ele teve um ataque cardíaco mesmo. Go away. I don't want to see you. The doctor told me to sleep. I rarely get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. Uh, okay. Vamos escutar o que? Coração dele. His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying. But it could also just be pure, unadulterated rage. Okay, podemos olhar mais alguma coisa. He's clenching his fist, a sign of contained anger. He's looking straight at me. If he couldn't hold my stare, I'd think he's lying. But that's not the case. Clenched fist, fast heart rate, fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. I'm sorry you don't want to see me, but... I saved your life, son. Maybe my aunt feels gratitude. I certainly don't. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. All right, I'll just cut to the chase. Uh, why did you kill the... Who killed that? Who killed Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe hanged himself. Uh, that was to hang himself. Dunn was too short to hang himself with that rope. So, it's true? He was murdered. Is he lying? Or did his heart rate speed up out of rage? His pupils just dilated. Did I surprise him? Is he holding back his rage? I know the murder weapon was yours. What? The rope? I don't get it. What weapon do you mean? Don't play with me, boy. 
The chest expander. An expander? I've never had one of those. All right. Let's just say that I... I believe you. The murderer killed Dunn with a chest expander and planted evidence to make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues behind to make sure we found the true murder weapon. Then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame you. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a motive? I... I don't know. Uh, Desmond Olery. Fred Cassidy. Portanto, da Sonia. What about Sonia Dunn? Sonia? I doubt it. She's odd. But she's his daughter. I've seen worse. Believe me. Frank Cassidy. What about Frank Cassidy? Do you think he has a motive? Maybe. A few weeks ago, Joe took me to a boxing manager's association meeting. Headed by Cassidy. Yeah. He was obsessed with making it illegal for boxers to fight without a manager. Or without an associated manager. Everyone seemed to go along with it until Joe spoke up. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association just to make money by monopolizing the sport. That made others think twice. And Cassidy ended up empty-handed. Poor Cassidy. Okay. Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. Did he have anything against Dunn? I'm not sure if they knew each other. At least not in person. About a month ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. He was trying to give a business card to... Jake Ostiangi. Yeah, exactly. Did Jake tell you about that? Something like that. Black Sad. I think I owe you an, um... Uh, you know, my father disappeared when I was six. Right after winning a fight. We never heard from him again. Do you know what that does to a kid? Who knows where I'd be if Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way and put a gun to his head years later. He still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. Thanks. You're welcome. Through you. The number of cigarette butts is inversely proportional to my hours of sleep. Ah, damn. say a lot about what's going on inside a person. Is that eye movement normal? He seems restless. Should I tell someone? 